the afternoon all, how are we doing? It's Tales Wales for Team Catch and Release here on Oak Lakes in Southminster in Essex uh, for the Cat and Carp uh, Cup. The Cat and Carp Cup has been organised by Tony from Cat and Carp. Basically to raise money for Southminster Scouts and everything as well, a bit of charity event and a bit of obviously team get-togethers. So it's a mashup of Team Catch and Release. Uh, you've got me, John Fireman, uh, Lee's Carp Bog, Bear, uh, Mickey Quinn, and some of his mates, some of Mickey Quinn's mates, and some of the boys from Cat and Carp, uh, basically taking part against the SAS Angler boys who got Lucky Carp and all that lot in them. So basically, what we've done, just to let you know, we've had the draw. Um, me and John the Fireman have decided to set up in a little base swim, which I'll show you around later. So we're lucky because when we got you dead early, don't tell anyone. Uh, when we got you dead early, uh, we could see fish in the bay, all up in the snag line, etc., etc. So more than happy to set up here. You can see house is set up, so really good. Um, just going to do some baiting and some markering now, get to know the swim a little bit better before the whistle blows five o'clock. So I said, yeah, big, you know, our first competition as Team Catch and Release, I said, Ethan is up in the BCAC. Um, unfortunately, I had a text in the car, he drew last up the hat, as on peg 13, so for anyone with superstition, bad luck maybe, we don't know. But we'll keep in contact with him, and said, obviously, through Twitter and everything will be up to date as well. So, uh, yeah, it's a pounds equal points sort of contest, so biggest bag at the end wins. Um, so, yeah, I so said the draw was really kind to say we saw fish in this bay and we managed to get in here on the, on the draw, so I'm more than happy with that. So, set up home, we'll show you around and hopefully get some fish on the bank for you. Until later, Tales of Wales, Team Catch and Release. on the fireman and say you haven't actually started yet and say we'll film all the intros later but uh, use the boats available not a cheeky bait boat go out check the bottom and get a bit of bait out but this is where we are at myself and John bearing up together snaggy we've seen fish already when we got here dead early you know, that's how close we are to civilization got a nice little secluded bay all to ourselves so play it smart and uh, fingers crossed we can be on the fish. Well, hello everyone. This is the swim that we've drawn for uh, the weekend's fishing. A small section of the lake. We've uh, more or less all to ourselves this little bay. Dips in round behind those trees on the right hand side which you can't quite see but uh, yeah, this is all the water we've got to play with. Uh, nobody else can get access to it, so it's just me and John on this little area. Now, if I zoom in here, all the way along this far bank, you've got trees that have been cut off, all sorts of snags. And whilst having a look round, we have seen a lot of fish, a lot of fish in the snags. And it's uh, somewhere we're hoping to target and maybe pull a few out. So uh, you never know, but we're going to have to adjust our rigs, fish locked up nice and tight, not let them take any line, dropping our leads where we need to. So uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have some fish. But yeah, it's a nice little patch, we've seen a few crews in as well. Oh, there we are, there's a fish right then, waiting under that tree. Well, a lot of it has got overhanging trees and it's going to be quite hard to actually cast to. So uh, we might not be able to get in as tight as we like, but then you've got the other side of it. Do you want to be in that tight if you're just going to be uh, getting snagged up? But anyway, we'll catch you later on. There we are, first one for uh, me, but it's the second fish for Team Catch and Release. As far as we're aware, we're 2-1 up at the moment. Mikey coming out at 14 and this one swung the scales around at 16. So Tales from Wales happy, you said we were in that little sneaky bait, which I'll show you uh, in the morning. But uh, very, very happy. Fought like an absolute demon. So uh, we're going to slip her back and uh, get the rods back up and get on it. Team catch and release. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, day two. I say we had a night over at on Oak Lakes. Uh, and things changed overnight, as I reported last night, we were up with two to one fish uh, and a good weight in the nets, we were the 14 and the 16. But uh, 
the sort of opposition SAS angling have romped over the top of us. They've had a good few fish overnight. We're just waiting for weights to be confirmed, etc., which we'll update later. Um, but unfortunately, yeah, so we were up against it. John the Fireman's had two tench, and uh, Lee's definitely on the fish. Mikey Quinn's had an aborted take. Don't know about Leechy yet, he's not out of bed. Um, and Pear hasn't had anything, unfortunately. But everyone has still got big smiles on their face, so Tails Whale sums up for that. We're really happy with that. Um, but as I said, all the boys, great to meet all the lads, obviously. But I mean, all good fishermen. You can see everyone's fishing their own styles. We're going to run the babies later, have a quick two minute chat with each of them. But uh, just wanted to show you really the rig that I had the fish on. I said, luckily enough, um, catch and release have managed to get VAR this tackle to work with them quite closely now. Is that a fish crashing this in? And uh, they said, we've been lucky enough to get hold of some of the ranges you can see from the shots. Uh, but this is the rig I had it on. So, ever faithful combi rig. You know, I'm renowned now for the combi rig. Don't use anything else. Love it to pieces. Um, so, got the Vardis fluorocarbon. Really great, really strong, really supple as well as being strong. But also just got just enough so that braid will bend nicely onto it. Really, really strong quality braid. It's in the brown camo colour here uh, for the bottom of the lake, basically. It is a brown bottomed lake. The good thing with this is it sinks like an absolute brick. Never seen anything sink like it. Then you've got one of the uh, anti-snag hooks in brown yet again to match the bottom. Really, really sharp hooks. Low back ring. And then the other faithful Innovate S2T and a popper on the top there. Um, pink popper. It's, you know, it is my favourite rig. I can go on and on about it in every single blog. But I said, luckily enough now, working with Vardis, got some really good tackle bits, you know, that I really trust already. The fish was an angry, angry fish and it just held up to everything I needed it to do. So, really happy with that. And then, this stuff is going to be phenomenal. Everyone will be wanting this. This is the best putty I've ever used. Yet again, it sounds like I'm blagging at Vardis, but it is a quality product. And that'll just be going over the knot, pinning it all down, and obviously giving that hook a turn. But, yeah, some components. I said, first time I used them yesterday, tied up a rig. Really happy. So, we remain optimistic. I said, more bait's going to go in. I said, the lads from uh, SAS that have had the fish have been on big beds of bait. So, me and John have certainly opted for a more bait approach, and I know Lee's been baiting his swim, and Mikey Quinn and uh, Leech are going to put some more bait in. So, we'll get back to you later, hopefully with five of us, or six of us, or maybe more with fish in hand. So, uh, until later, there's Royals Team Catch and Release. <laughs>
Shazam. Look at that, that is a 20. What an angry, angry fish, mate. They fight hard, they fight fast, and they fight deep. Oh, Here's where else can catch and release. Look at that, look at that. Here we are, 23-7 of Oak Lakes Magic. That's the first ever fish upon a trolley. Uh, cast right tight to the air, snags, uh, with a trolley coming back about sort of half a foot to a foot. Absolute bounder of a fight. We were all swapping what weight it was going to be. But I say, when a lot of people are pulling in smaller fish, I'm more than happy to take a low 20, but chuffing. Absolute devil of a fight you'll see on the video. Dragged me all the way around the swim, picked up all the lines. So, I'm going to take some photos now before it gets dark and uh, get this beautiful run back and get the rods back out. Till later, team catch and release. Right, you join me in uh, Bear's swim here and see a cracking snag line. What we're going to do is have a quick chat with Bear in a second now about how he's fishing it. So he is boxed off on one side, so it is going to be a snag based talk and a little bit of open water. But we're going to learn more about Bear, how he's fishing here and how he differs or is similar to Bear's Lake. So here, here we, we go. go, there's the, the man, the beast that is the bear, finally on camera. Morning all. Here we are. So how are you fishing this swim then, Bear, and how does it sort of differ or is the same to how you fish at home? Um, it's basically the same as Bear's Lake in the respect to the depths. Obviously, as you've shown, the snag line there. I've got one off the far tree, if you can see it, just maybe six eight inches away far bit of fish movement but as yet nothing yeah well, where's the other rod then bear mate the other one's down just in front of us next to these lilies that are coming through again seeing a bit of movement there last night just stuck one down there this morning the first light here we are sorted Yeah, we are, Ben. I've seen the location now. How are you going about fishing it? What's your sort of approach, your rig, etc.? Well, basically, it's a old school, as you like to call it, braid <laughs> rig. A snowman, well, snowman style, PVA bagged, just off the tree. Uh, all the rig again, straight braid rig. Air rig single bait um, with a corn tipper. Proper man's fishing in meat, breed, breed and bags. Oh. Love it. <laughs> it's classic. Yeah, I've used them basically most of, for most of me fishing. I tie my own braided rigs and I've had success with them, so I stick with them. Meat, top of angling, loving it. And say so with the setup today, you expecting results? Yeah, fairly hopeful this morning. It's uh, looking good for a bite, but I think one rodder will be with a floater on very shortly. Tops. See if we can get some off the top. There we are. And I didn't, didn't, we weren't going to tell you who's going to do this. Can we have a Tales for Wales double thumbs up, mate? You can have a Tales for Wales double <laughs> thumbs up, mate. Beautiful. Catch a release. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, Lee's Carp Blog here. Just thought I'd give you a little uh, show around my swim, which I'm on swim 20, which I've got quite a lot of uh, open water, which I have baited a couple of areas. I've got straight out in front of me. I've got about 11 foot, then it goes to eight, then comes up to about three, and then deepens down again, goes down to about six foot. But at the minute, I've baited up an area over there. I don't know if I zoom in, see there's a tree with blossom on and then just to the left of that there's a little indent I'm right in there and what's nice is if I just show the zoom up here I can walk to there and get some nice bit of bait in there so I've been baiting that area up for 24 hours now I've had nothing of it yet but it's not really bite time at the minute so if we can nick one during the day it would be quite handy and then also my second rod at the minute because the sun's been out. I've had a little two foot zig just on the end there. The fish have been patrolling through into uh, 
the two Johns area. So there you go, there's my swim. There's also, if I move around to here, and that's where last night a uh, 22 came out of. The guy on the swim next to me decided to uh, put one down in the margins at night, and it seemed to work out very well for him. Go. Cool. There we are, guys. Finally, a fish. It's been our day, really our day. It's uh, sunshine, and now it's been raining. But this little puppy's just rattled up right underneath some snags, so it's all locked up. But it's uh, at least it's a fish, eh? All right? Maybe more. Back later. Morning, it's uh, Lee from Lee's Carp Vlogs. Just uh, filming John. Just trying to uh, suss out what he's down here in this swim. There's uh, fish showing on top, so we're just looking to put a uh, zig out. Start with four foot and work our way down in. Uh, lengths of the zig. Let's see if we can get a long shot of <whistles> Give us one of them. There he is. Hi guys. It's half past three at night. 15 pound form there, common. I was pleased to have more fish to be honest with you. The more activity tonight you can hear them. There might be more before morning, but we're definitely going to have another good go tomorrow. Anyway, more pounds, more points. Team catch and release. All right, all right, Bob. Good early afternoon, all I say. We're uh, just finishing up your last couple of hours of the competition. Um, Luckily enough, overnight, as you saw, John the Fireman had one in the night, as did uh, Jay, old Mikey Quinn's mate. So that's our happy days. Um, as far as we're aware, we are in the lead. We're not 100% sure because I said there's been fish overnight that we haven't had recorded yet. But I reckon we're on about 130 odd pound of fish, which is a good weight seeing it has been fishing quite hard. But um, I said our little bees paying off a bit, and the lads are, as I said, still fishing their hearts out. So, what do you reckon, John Voight? Well, fingers crossed, the sun's properly out now, whereas it hasn't been for the last few days. We've got the chum mixer ready. You never know, we might be able to nick one off the top before the close of play, but uh, you know, fingers crossed. But at the moment, it's looking good. I see we're waiting now, quick raffle draw and then uh, the prizes and the sort of winning, I suppose, the winning, I suppose, the winning, hopefully. The winning. So, uh, but I say a big thanks to everyone that's been involved, really happy with everything. So hopefully, maybe we might finish on a cheeky little fish at the end for a little picture. But I say there's gonna be plenty of pictures, hopefully, with. Uh, Catch and release stroke cat and carp hold in the cup. So uh, until later, thumbs up, John. Team catch and release. Here we are, as you said, we wanted to try and end on a fish. I said the whistle has gone, but team catch and release fighting hard. And I said, all the way to the death, put underneath some snags that we've been cheekily baiting. I said, it's where fish from uh, yesterday come for for John. But rods pulled tight fully locked up, fish come to the surface and uh, John Shailen and it's a mirror this is an irregularity, we've been the kings of the commons but uh, we have one 16 pound in it, which isn't a lot but it's enough, so one of our fish basically, more or less won the day but uh, we're all here down in one swim getting to know each other a little bit more just for the end of the competition and some pictures with the cup and uh, off it goes Still fishing, what do you reckon, John? Come on, predict now! 32 and a half? Oh yeah, mid, <laughs> mid team. Mid team? Yeah. But it's definitely a mirror, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Fighting hard? I think definitely. You think definitely? <laughs> definitely. That sounds like someone I've met before who thinks definitely. Is that handle far? Yeah. <laughs> Stand back. Can you have some thumbs up and some smiles, boys? 
Trophy winners, happy days. Happy days. Let's get this one in the net and we can have a nice little team shot with everyone as well. Here comes the gaffer, Tone. Made the epic walk around the lake. Let's uh, get the coverage on this now. There we are, coming to net. Right, Vardis leader looks showing strong. And there she is. There you go. Get in. John, reactions? We are. Team catch and release. Competition's over, we've already won. But a couple of us are staying on for the last few hours of the day. Maybe catch a few more. And look what we got. We're just trying to do a team photos and this is uh, rattled off. So, dead chuffed. Team catch and release. Mm -hmm.